Okay, now we're back for another theorem, and this one is the alternate exterior angles theorem. So if you watched the previous ones, we talked about alternate interior angles, corresponding angles postulate, and vertical angles theorem. So now we're going to talk, uh, prove that alternate exterior angles are congruent. So I'm going to draw my diagram here. Okay, so again, I'm going to refer to, um, I'm going to refer to this line right here as the transversal T, and it's going to be cut by, uh, it's going to be cutting lines L and M, and L and M are um, parallel. So L and M are parallel, cut by transversal T. Okay, so the theorem states that L and M are parallel cut by C, or cut by T, and T is the transversal. Um, and we want to prove, let's say in this case we have angles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. We will prove that angle 1 is congruent to angle 8. So these are the alternate exterior angles. So that's going to be, so again, this angle and this angle right here, these are alternate exterior angles. Let's prove that they are congruent. So make our, st uh, our two column proof. So we have my our statements here reasons here. Start with what you're given, and that's that L is parallel to M, and that's given. Okay. Now, we're going to try to get from 1 to 8. So let's start with angle 1. What do we know is congruent with uh, angle 1? Okay, so using what we know before, we know that alternate, uh, we know that vertical angles are congruent, right? or we know corresponding angles are congruent. So if we know that, well, let's start with that. So we can use um, vertical angles or corresponding angles. So it's up to you guys which, ones, which one you want to uh, choose. So I'm going to go with vertical angles. So the vertical angle from 1 is 4. So I know that these are congruent. So now angle 1 is congruent with angle 4 um, because vertical angles are congruent. But because vertical angles are congruent, so angle 1 and angle 4 are congruent. So I've gone from 1 to 4. Now, is there any way I can jump from one, uh, 4 to 8? Is there any way I can show that 4 and 8 are congruent? So I went from 1 to 4. Is there any way I can go from 4 to 8? And we know that um, corresponding angles are congruent, and 4 and 8 are corresponding angles. So angle 4 is congruent with angle 8, and because they are corresponding. Okay, so look at these statements that we have here. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 4. Angle 4 is congruent to angle 8. So likewise, in the last property, we know that angle 1 is congruent to angle 8 through the transitive property. And there you go. We just proved that they are congruent. And through a similar argument, we could also prove that angle 2 and angle 7 are also congruent. But again, the point of the proofs are to show uh, cases generally so that we can use them generally and not just for specific examples. Okay, Okay, that's the alternate uh, exterior angles. In the, in the next video, we'll cover the very last theorem, which is same side interior angles.